Hi, Tamisa. How's it going, everyone? If I were you, もし私があなただったら。So this phrase can be used when you're giving advice or guidance to someone. Let's take a look at three useful example situations where you can use this phrase. For college students, when it gets closer to the graduation, obviously, of course, they start to apply for companies so they can start working after they graduate. And most likely, I think a lot of the students apply for multiple companies, right? And let's say, wonderfully, your friend actually got accepted by two great companies. And for your friend, both companies actually appear so wonderfully that she or he can't decide which job to take. Then, times like that, if you're a best friend, you can give advice like this. What? You got accepted from both companies? Congrats! That's awesome! Both companies are so great! Yeah, good for you! Oh, well, you can decide which one you want to go to. Ooh, tough call. Well, I don't know. Remember you were saying you wanted to save some time for your hobbies, like even if you start working? So. I don't know. If I were you, I would choose the one that has shorter、um, working hours, probably. So, you know, you can still save time for your hobby, but you have like, you know, great working hours and great、um, working environment. So, yeah, if I were you, I would choose based on that. So, let's imagine that you are out with your friends having lunch together and flipping over the menus, looking at all these wonderful dishes. Maybe your friend or one of your f r i e n d is undecisive and can't decide what to eat, right? Well, this especially applies for me, but I'm a pretty impatient person, so I like to just like decide quickly. So for me, if I see a friend who can't decide the menu and then tick tock, tick tock, thinking like forever, then I would probably start asking questions like, okay, so what did you have for yesterday's lunch? You had fish, rice, Miso soup, so that's Japanese dish, right? Okay, so if I were you, I would choose anything excluding Japanese dishes.、Um, maybe like French toast, pancake, or ooh, how about curry going for Indian? So the way I just demonstrated was like giving a guidance so the person can choose. I think this situation probably happens a lot like what? Months between May and June, like you know, rainy seasons, but the weather is so unpredictable that you know, even if it's raining a lot and heavily in the morning,、um, sometimes on the weather forecast it says it's going to be sunny, right? And as parents, if you see outside and if you see it's raining heavily, you don't want your child to get wet before getting to school, so you know, maybe you're thinking rain boots. But on the weather forecast, it does say it will or might get sunny in the afternoon. And you want to give that, you know, like respectful space for a child to make choice on their own. So, times like that, I usually say this to my kids. It's all up to you, but since it's raining super heavy right now, if I were you, I would wear rain boots so I don't have to worry about puddles and getting my clothes wet. If I were you, もし私があなただったら。I hope you can make this phrase useful more frequently. Thank you so much for watching till the end, everyone. I hope everyone will have a wonderful day. See you soon. Goodbye.